Hi, my name is Paul, and uh, I just wanted to show you a very interesting presentation today. I know we've talked about uh, hyperreflexia, clonus, and things like the positive Hoffman sign. Um, I just wanted to show you this gentleman here. He's 37 years old, and uh, when he was 20, was in a motor vehicle accident, sustained a head injury at the time, and is now uh, and is still presenting with some. Um, what we would say is hyperreflexia and some upper motor neuron signs. Uh, so I just wanted to demonstrate those to you today so that you can, uh, you know, see this, take a look at it, and if it's something that you see in, in a patient that maybe you're evaluating, maybe an orthopedic patient, should turn on some uh, red flags and uh, you should be looking into a, a little bit deeper to make sure that there isn't something like a transverse myelitis or um, you know a brain issue or anything of that sort. So, um, so first thing I want to do is I'm going to start with his uh, lower extremity reflexes. Calf. So he's a little hyper reflexive there. Uppers, hyper reflexive here, also relax that arm, let it be real, real relaxed. There you go. Okay. We're going to do C5. See how brisk that is? And C6, quite brisk there also. Um, and then the last thing I want to show you is a Huffman's test. So I want you to relax that arm as much as you can. We take the end of the middle finger and we're going to flick it briskly. Take a look at the index. Okay, that's a positive Hoffman's. And we'll also try this side here. So I'll come right around this way. And you can see where he flicks. Okay, you can see where he's getting the flexion there. So in a situation like this, um, we want to um, just clear everything else out, talk to his family uh, provider, uh, and uh, see if there's anything else that is going on at an upper motor neuron level. Thanks.